Hi everyone, welcome to the IPB Resonance Chemistry. Now, I'll continue my lectures on biomolecules. I think it is lecture number four. In previous cases, we will discuss the, like a, a basic classification of amino acids as well as a, like a zwitter ion, isoelectric point, uh, electrophoresis, as well as one of the synth synthetic method that is Gabriel thalamate synthesis. Okay, now in this session, we will continue the like a lecture on synthetic methods of amino acid synthetic methods of amino acid so in previous cases we will discuss the gabriel thalamate synthesis and its complete mechanism now in this case we will discuss the some of the another synthetic methods of uh, like uh, amino acids now the, the second synthetic method that is uh, like alpha from alpha halo from alpha halo acid carboxylic acid Okay, now how, how do you prepare the alpha halo carboxylic acid to our amino acid? Simply, so we will prepare the uh, amino acids from alpha halo carboxylic acid. That means here it is the carboxylic acid. Now here CH, that position having the halon, halo position, that position having the halogen group, then it is simply, it is called alpha halo carboxylic acid. Not only Cl, we will use it the bromine also. So this is alpha halo carboxylic acid. So these alpha halo carboxylic acid in presence of uh, like uh, two moles of ammonia that is uh, excess of ammonia we will get the product uh, like uh, R C H N H three N H two C O O H. So simply here it appears as a cation here appears as a anion that is called zwitter ion that is called zwitter ion. Okay. Now here alpha halo carboxylic acid will treated with uh, excess of ammonia we will get the amino acid. This is the second method second synthetic method. So first of all, in this case, we will discuss the two steps. We will, we, what we need to discuss the, in this mechanism, that is two steps. So the first one is the preparation of alpha halo acid. So in generally, so here it is the carboxylic acid. Here it is the acetic acid. Let us assume. Okay, now here not only acetic acid. Here it is having the at least one alpha hydrogen. Now here it having the two alpha hydrogens. So in presence of a, like a chlorine in red phosphorus medium, chlorine in red phosphorus medium so we will get the like a rchcl cooh rchcl cooh this process is called alpha halogenation alpha halogenation so this this alpha halogenation method is nothing but uh, HVZ reaction, HVZ named reaction, that is Hal Holald Zielinski reaction. This is the first step. Now, first of all, we will prepare the alpha halo carboxylic acid. After the preparation of alpha halo carboxylic acid, we will use the like excess of ammonia, excess of ammonia. So, our ammonia molecule, so one of the ammonia molecule will substitute at the halo position of carb alpha halo carboxylic acid, then it becomes RCHCOOH here NH2. Okay, now here ammonia having the basic character, that's why it abstracts the proton from carboxylic acid. Here it appears NH3 plus. Now here it appears COO minus. It appears COO minus. So these two steps mainly involved in the like uh, synthesis of alpha, uh, alpha amino acids. Uh, from alpha halo carboxylic acid alpha halo carboxylic acid so here if r is equal to h let us assume if r is equal to h now we will get the like a glycine as a major product if r is equal to ch3 now we will get the alanine as a major product if r is equal to like isopropyl group we will get the valine such kind of etc okay now this is the simplest method to prepare the like amino acids amino acid this is the second method now let us discuss the another method Now let us discuss the another method that is uh, mel from malonic acid that is the third method from malonic acid uh, like malonic ester synthesis simply malonic ester synthesis malonic ester synthesis okay now here the third method so in generally we know that uh, here COOH that is called formic acid okay here however the two carboxylic acid will directly connected it is called oxalic acid so these two a carboxylic acid which is uh, connected through the like a ch2 group then it is called malonic acid this is called malonic acid okay now here malonic acid have like in the form of ester this is nothing but malonic ester this is nothing but malonic ester okay now here it is malonic ester 
Okay, so now malonic ester here the so these malonic ester synthesis uh, which is nothing but extension of our alpha halo uh, alpha halo uh, carboxylic acid synthesis. Now let us deal with uh, this reaction very easy. I I will uh, discuss the complete mechanism in the direct method only. Okay, now here it is the CH2 group that is nothing but uh, it is the active methylene group. It is active methylene group. So active methylene groups are readily lose their protons and it creates the negative charge. These negative charge will undergo the keto and Atomism that is the like a uh, methylene having the does that much of activeness. Okay, now here in the presence of base that is uh, especially like a sodium, uh, like a sodium alkoxide basis. So simply it is used in the like a uh, sodium methoxide, sodium methoxide. Now here this uh, sodium methoxide will obstruct the proton from malonic acid. Now it creates the CH minus COO ethyl, COO ethyl. Okay, now here it creates the negative charge. So this negative charge will treated with alkyl halide this is the crucial step in previous cases in gabriel thalamide synthesis we will use it the like alkyl halide now here also it undergoes the like nucleophilic substitution reaction these negative charge will up, will attack over the electrophilic center of alkyl halide now here it creates the like ch coo ethyl coo ethyl here it creates the rc that is a new cc single bond new cc single bond here it is the r group here it is the r group okay so this is the crucial step if we use the r group as a like a simple methyl that is a like we will get the alanine such type of compounds now let us discuss the those compounds okay now here R C H C O O ethyl. So the whenever it undergoes the like a uh, hydrolysis in presence of basic medium, so we will get the like R C H C O O H C O O H. That is a uh, dicarboxylic acid. Like uh, that is a uh, beta dicarboxylic acid. Beta dicarboxylic acid. Simply uh, uh, don't want to go for the detailed analysis. This is a uh, dicarboxylic acid. Okay, now here the dicarboxylic acid undergoing the like a bromination process. And now here we will uh, like a bromine, a bromine uh, like a liquid is passes through the like a dicarboxylic acid. Now here it undergoes like a alpha bromination, alpha bromination, COOH, COOH. This is the alpha bromination. So then after uh, like a heating conditions are uh, like uh, applied. Now here COOH, one of the COOH group. Now here the bonded two electrons will shift it towards the like a uh, carbon atom. Then it becomes a negative. That negative charge will obstruct the proton. Now here or uh, here it is the CH COOH Br. Okay. Now in similar case we will prepare the just uh, alpha halo carboxylic acid so which are already discussed in our second method so here the prince of alpha halo acid we use it the ammonia in excess amount uh, we will get the, the like corresponding corresponding like a uh, amino acids corresponding amino acid so this is the like a simple extension of uh, like our uh, alpha halo carboxylic acid synthesis this is nothing but uh, we will prepare the amino acid from malonic acid that's why it is called malonic ester synthesis malonic not acid malonic ester okay now it is called malonic ester synthesis okay now here uh, in previous cases of alpha halo amino acid we will prepare the like glycine also why because we will take the like acetic acid we will get the glycine now here our group is uh, alkyl group. Uh, the minimum alkyl group is methyl. Okay, so now we will continue through the methyl group. Here it is methyl, here it is methyl. So now finally we will get the CH3, CH, COOH, NH2. So this is called alanine. This is called alanine. We will not uh, like uh, we, uh, we will not prepare the simple amino acid in this method. That is the like a uh, measure uh, measure point of which is a uh, uh, required for the malonic ester synthesis malonic ester synthesis now however so this uh, malonic ester synthesis is best method to prepare the like uh, amino acids and now here also we, we will not use the like aromatic halides aromatic halides okay this is the second method to prepare the like uh, amino acids now let us go through the not the second this is third method now let us go through the another method that is very important method that is nothing but a strucker synthesis strucker synthesis Okay, now let us discuss the fourth important method that is nothing but uh, like a Strucker synthesis. Strucker synthesis. So this is the very important method to synthesize it like amino acids. Okay, now here we, in this method we will prepare the amino acids from aldehydes. From aldehydes. Now here this is the aldehyde. So here the excess of uh, like ammonium that is ammonium chlorides are used. Now here it becomes uh, like uh, imines. 
here it becomes a minus simply so not only like a, a like ammonium chlorides just we use the ammonia we will get the like a simple amines so simple amines will undergo the like a nucleophilic addition of a, like a hydrogen cyanide or sodium cyanide sodium cyanide so now we will get the this type of a product nh2 cooh here h okay so here not the cooh we will get the let's just a cyanide so here it is the nucleophilic addition reaction not the elimination uh, substitution reaction now here after the nucleophilic addition of cyanide so then followed by the hydrolysis of uh, cyanide under acidic medium acidic hydrolysis we will get the or ch cooh it is nh2 so this is the overall amino acid now here in Strecker synthesis we will prepare the amino acid from carboxylic acid so sorry not the carboxylic acid here from the aldehyde so aldehydes are treated with ammonia will give the imines imines undergoing the like nucleophilic addition of sodium cyanide or hydrogen cyanic acid simply hydrogen cyanic acid we will get the like a ch nh2 cn type of group here undergoing the like a hydron followed by the hydrolysis under acidic medium so we will get the our alpha amino acid alpha amino acid which is very easier method i don't want to explain the each and every step of the mechanism so simply first of all we will get the imine in the presence of ammonia okay now here nh2 okay h now here the nitrogen nucleophile will attack over the carbonyl compound then it becomes o minus before that here the lone pair of electrons will abstract the proton then it becomes oh plus okay so whenever the nitrogen lone pairs will attack over there then it becomes uh, like a bonded to electron will shift it towards the oxygen atom then it becomes o minus minus and plus will becomes a neutral now here c o h okay c o h now here it is hydrogen here it is the nitrogen group nitrogen already having the three bonds that is a cation that is the cation however here it having the like lone pairs that lone pairs will abstract the proton from ammonium cation then it becomes nh2 or c nh2 now here oh2 plus here it is the water so oh is the leaving group but oh2 plus is the best leaving group when compared to the oh okay now here nitrogen having the their unshared paired electron so those unshared paired electrons will participate in the like a such like elimination reaction now we will get the rc double bond nh2 okay now first of all we use the oh that is acidic medium however so here it creates the like imine cation that is ammonium ion now here the loss of one proton now we will get the like a like a nh2 sorry nh that is that is nothing but a imine so this is the first method first method mechanism so after the formation of imine now we will add the like our cyanide that is here nh here h we will add the cyanide minus then it undergoes the like addition reaction that is rc nh minus here h here cyanide so now we will take the like hcl or like any type of acidic medium in case of sodium cyanide in acidic solvent now we will get the proton now that proton will abstracted by the nh minus which becomes nh2 okay this is the second step after that cyanide will undergoes the like hydrolysis reaction in generally cyanide uh, followed by the hydrolysis will use the like a carboxylic acid so this is the another best method to prepare the like a carboxyl like a amino acid okay if here r is equal to ch3 we will get the ch3 ch like nh2 COOH. If R is equal to H, that is form, formaldehyde, we will get the like a CH NH2 COOH. This is a, like a glycine. This is the alanine. So these are the simple method to prepare the like amino acids. Now let us discuss the like a final reaction regarding to the our synthesis of amino acid lecture. Now let us synthesize the final method. Uh, let us discuss the final method that is uh, Iodentine method. So this is the simplest modification of uh, like Erlenmeyer synthesis. Okay. So now here in this case, uh, Iodentine method we use the Iodentine uh, with the help of uh, aldehyde with the help of uh, aldehyde NH like a C double bond O here NH uh, like a C double bond O. So this is called hydentine. Hydentine. Okay. So now here, in presence of aldehyde with the help of hydentine, we will get the like this type of alkenes. CH double bond C, like NH, 
C double bond O and HC double bond O. This is the double bond compound. So whenever we, we will use it like sodium sodium amalgam. So here it transfers the electrons and it gives the like uh, it becomes uh, unsaturation becomes a saturation R C H two like uh, this is the compound R C H two N H C double bond O N H that is a C double bond O. Okay, that is a C double bond O. After that, uh, so now here we will get the like uh, after that uh, here it undergoes the like hydrolysis reaction. It under was the hydrolysis reaction now we will get the like r c h2 like here c double bond o h now here it is c n h2 here it is n h2 again here c o o h and n h2 is eliminated n h2 is eliminated now in first step here in the presence of acetic anhydride it accelerates the reaction it accelerates the reaction this is the simplest method to prepare the like uh, amino acids now in the help of identine not only identine we will use it the like uh, several types of compounds now here this is the like a uh, this is the piperazine. Okay, now here diketo piperazine are also used in uh, used for the preparation of uh, like uh, of uh, amino acids with the help of aldehydes. Okay, now here it requires a high temperature, higher temperature. Okay, now here this is the simplest method to prepare the like identine. So if instead of uh, our group is uh, our group is indole, so that, that is a uh, three carboxyl indole, three carboxyl aldehyde indole or carboxyl aldehyde indole. Now we will get the final product. Uh, as indole okay indole containing carboxylic acid is nothing but a tryptophan is nothing but a tryptophan we, we will prepare the tryptophan from uh, like a three carboxyl aldehyde of indole with the help of identine we will get the tryptophan amino acid tryptophan amino acid that's all for this video these are the all the methods to synthesize the like uh, amino acids so the first of all gabriel thalamide synthesis second one is uh, like alpha haloester acid synthesis third one is malonic ester synthesis fourth one is a uh, strucker synthesis now fifth one is identine synthesis i don't want to expand uh, many other uh, like synthesis methods so that is nor synthesis which is prepared from the uh, amino acids from like a uh, pyruvic acid also okay so say many several methods are also available i don't want to discuss the many like uh, uh, various reactions so now here these are the very important reaction regarding to the amino acid that's why i'll discuss those reactions only okay now that's all for this video uh, this is the like synthesis of amino acids okay thank you for watching